Welcome to day four. This is the last day in the parks. We are headed home in a few hours. Before that, we have a few more rides. We always save Epcot for last because it has like the least number of rides. And Frozen is obviously the best of those. World Showcase doesn't open until like two hours after Future World. If you get in at nine, plan to like eat and ride test track. But Frozen opens with the rest of the park in the middle of World Showcase for some reason. We suggest walking. It's a lot easier to walk in here than it is to wait for a tram. We also found a bag check on the far left when you walk up far away from all of the tram drop-offs. If you look, there might be a way to save yourself some time. Another tip for you. Icon picture spots. They only do this in Epcot. If you see one, it's a good angle to take a picture from. I don't know if they're on the app, but they're on the paper maps. And if all else fails, look for photo pass photographers. They always have the best angles. They're super nice and really good with it. So. And they'll take a picture with your cell phone. immediately used our fast pass and spaceship earth so on this ride when you go in they take your picture to put on the little screen and as you descend back down into the real world they couldn't scan avery's face so i had a cartoon boyfriend i don't know who that guy was but i will find him and his butt will be promptly kicked when you're brushing up on all your disney tips online and all the lists they tell you there's free soda at club pool they're liars the cups are this big and it's all foreign soda you've never heard of and don't drink the beverly it tastes like death if you're a weird eater like me, there are not a lot of options for you here. The electric umbrella. And America. Not the little kiosk with the turkey legs. The Liberty Inn, I believe it is called. Also, I believe, are hot dogs at the trading posts. Also, there's Cokes, and there's kind of a place to hang out. And there are fans. We're going to head to the seas later today, but the wait time is very low, so we're going to go try to hit both Nemo things over here. Just edit our fast pass later. Nemo and we did turtle talk. All in about half an hour. If you need somewhere to hang out in air conditioning or somewhere to like entertain a small person, the seas is a great area. They've got their own bathrooms and everything. It's all inside. So if you just need somewhere to hide for a little bit, it's pretty good. We're headed to Figment? Figment now, which is one of my favorite rides. If I am the combination of any two celebrities, it's these two. So it's hilarious to me that they're next to each other on this ride. I have been looking for a Figment plushie since we started coming here. I am way happier than any 24 year old man should be about a stuffed dragon. Victory is mine. It got stupidly hot out here. So we're going to show you another place, not so hidden, but nice. Directly across from Test Track's exit. We haven't been in the Mexico Pavilion in quite a while. We just got here as they were opening the doors. There's some really cool Coco stuff in here now like these displays, some new interactive stuff. So we're gonna hop in line for three caballeros before we head to Frozen next door. I don't know how we always manage to hit so many things. Impulse is get you five minute wait times. That's true. So now we are headed to Frozen where we will not have to wait to 65 minutes as we have fast passes. closer to Elsa. That's why I sat on the right side. We're gonna walk around World Showcase for just a little bit. It is surprisingly empty on this side of the park right now. Maybe it's because they just opened less than an hour ago. I think there's a storm coming in also. It's always going to rain between like one and four. Either plan to skip that part of the day or plan to walk in it. It's, you're gonna be wet. It's okay. We're making a detour in Japan. There's a museum with a candy lady in it. Candy lady? There is a candy lady. There is also a really awesome Guardians of the Galaxy show. It's really cool Top and really funny and exactly what George Washington would have wanted. A little know-how for you. Over near International Gateway, they have surprise meet and greets here. 
the cast members don't even seem to know who it's going to be and when they're going to show up. And now it is raining. Oh, we got two more countries. We're almost there. So the gardens in England, there's a meet and greet area that used to be Winnie the Pooh. Well, we just met Cruella there. I've never met Cruella. I wonder if she might have been the mystery character that was supposed to be down by the water. Oh. But that's just a theory. We have made it all the way around the world and are headed back to the front of the park. We're going to shortcut back towards imagination and the land. We are now headed into the land to experience living with the land. Very excited about this air conditioning. Tell me about living with the land. It's really cute. It's a really long ride. It's mostly air conditioned. It's so it's freaking boring. But it, it's a long ride. It's like 15 minutes, so it's worth your time. Currently a store and available for four, so if you were in the park, keep checking the app. Especially if you use all your fast passes by like three o'clock. When the weather gets like this, people will cancel and go to another park or go back to the hotel. If it's raining, don't go to another park. It's also raining there. And then it rained. It rained a lot. We did get to ride Frozen one more time though. Oh, it's lightning. We have a six hour and change drive ahead of us. And we're hungry. Thank you for joining us on our journey through the magical world of Disney. You sat at home in your air conditioning in the dryness and watched us suffer. And it was worth it. You should be thanking us. We'll be back soon, I'm sure. Until then, see you real soon. You can also follow us on Instagram at AA Disney.